I'm here with Scott Glasgow, who just won for Curse of Sleeping Beauty. Thank you. So uh, you just got, yeah, you just won for your score. And uh, how, what are you feeling right now, Scott? I, I was very surprised. <laughs> I was up on the third floor, and I thought, I would like to hear um, Robert Townsend announce the, the names. <laughs> but then I thought, I better start going, because if, if they actually announce it, I'd have to run down three flights <laughs> and, then get, and then trying to get through the, 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 the chairs. It's like there's, it's a, it's a, it's a maze of, um, yes, exciting, very cool. <laughs> Very and uh, we talked about it a little briefly earlier, but yeah, you, you created this amazing gothic kind of lush score. And uh, what was it like kind of bringing the, uh, such a classic story, a fairy tale, to life? You know, the thing is that when I saw the film, I realized it wasn't the classic story. It, 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 it's very, very, you know, I mean, there is a Prince Charming, but he's not the same. Sleeping Beauty's been asleep for a thousand years. It's completely gothic, dark telling, so, it, it, so I couldn't approach it. Like, for instance, I looked at Tchaikovsky and I thought, can I incorporate some Tchaikovsky into this? It just didn't fit. It was just the wrong film. It just, the film is dark and it's, it's a fantasy. It's not even really a horror movie. It's not like there's, there's there's um, there's not blood per se. There's like, uh, like you know how horror movies have, and even jump scares. There wasn't that many jump scares. There were these mannequins that came to life, um, but it wasn't the same as. It really is a fantasy, you know. Well, yeah, man, it, it definitely well deserved, and congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Kaya.